Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jeff's What's New in RVs in 2016 and the Did You Know series. Today we're going to do something a little different than our previous episodes. We're going to talk a little bit about what to look for and ask for when buying an RV. Question is, who do you want to partner with when you buy your RV? The most common comments that I hear from customers are, no one has ever explained that to me before. All they cared about was selling me any RV. They didn't ask questions about our type of travel or our use, and they weren't listening to our needs. And when we needed service, they were absent. So supporting your customers. It's easy to sell a customer an RV, but the key is, do you have the service capacity and the track record of being there when a problem arises and supporting your customer's needs? Sharing knowledge and education is also very important. Did you know where some RV manufacturers cut costs? Many RV manufacturers don't laminate the sides of their slide outs. Uh, if you are out and you're shopping around and you press on the side of a slide out and there's flexion, you know that it hasn't been al laminated. This is one of the key areas where you lose uh, cooling and heating when the air conditioner is on or when the furnace is on. The other area where some manufacturers cut costs is on the back of a coach. They don't laminate the back and again these are the most exposed areas in, in an RV. Many RV manufacturers use a one and a half inch sidewall while other manufacturers use a two inch sidewall. What this means is the difference in your R value of your coach. Many manufacturers will only use a three and a half inch roof truss, while other manufacturers will use a five inch roof truss. So it's very important to ask these questions to your RV dealer or RV consultant if they know what the roof truss is. Again, this has the impact on the R value of your coach and whether your air conditioner or whether your uh, furnace will be running constantly. Stick and tin construction, I'm often asked about what that is versus laminate. So basically, if you can envision the construction of a house using studs with fiber fill insulation, that's what a stick and tin RV is. The challenge with that is when you travel with it over a period of time, that fiberglass insulation settles to the bottom, creating an air gap at the top of your coach. And when you have that air gap and you have moisture changes, you get condensation. When you have condensation and moisture, you have mold. With a laminate construction, it is laminated from the floor right to the ceiling. There is no settling. The R value is much higher. And in the long run, you have a much better coach with a greater return on investment when you're ready to trade it in. And lastly, full-time living versus three season. Many dealers will tell customers that they can live in their coach full-time. The challenge is that many customers have found out that when they did have an RV problem and they took it back to, their, uh, took it back to the dealer, their warranty was void because the coach was not warranted for full-time living. So a couple of questions that you can ask your dealer and ask your RV consultant when you are shopping around. If you have any RV questions, please feel free to call or email Jeff at Outdoor Travel and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.